In a year where the romance genre has been dominated by both sequels like Kaguya, Komi, and Rent-A-Girlfriend, and new series like My Dress Up Darling and Shikimori, it's not surprising that other series have fallen through the cracks and not gotten the attention they deserved. One of those series is When Will Ayumu Make His Move, a cute, relaxing rom-com from the summer season. Written by Soichiro Yamamoto, the same author as Takagi-san, Ayumu deviates from that in that it drops the teasing and middle school setting in favor of slightly more progress and slightly older characters. The main pair of the series is Arushi, a second year who's the head of the shogi club, and Ayumu, a first year who fell in love with her at first sight. Being the older one, Arushi tries her best to act like a senpai and remain composed, but Ayumu's ability to lavish her in genuine compliments while remaining as stoic as ever constantly catches her off guard and embarrasses her. Ayumu, meanwhile, has vowed to not confess to her until he can beat her in a game of shogi, which is meaningful to both of them as it's Arushi's passion and Ayumu feels that beating her at it will make him her equal. Unfortunately for Ayumu, Arushi is an incredible shogi player and he's a beginner, so he has a long road ahead of him before he's able to confess. This setup works well to establish an overall goal that Ayumu can work toward over the couple years they'll share together, but the anime moves surprisingly fast, covering more than a year in its 12 episodes. As Ayumu slowly develops his skill in shogi and Arushi slowly begins to see him as more than just a kohai, we get to watch a genuinely cute dynamic develop, and I never got tired of seeing the antics they got up to in and out of their club. Arushi is a wonderful lead and one of my best girls of the year, a passionate and hilarious character whose reactions had me laughing in every episode. And likewise, Ayumu is a strong companion to her, clearly honest and well-meaning in his attempts to better himself as a player and get closer to Arushi. Something I really like about When Will Ayumu Make His Move, especially when compared to Yamamoto's other works like Takagi-san, is the additional time spent on establishing a fun cast of side characters who don't just exist to spur on the main couple, but also have their own stories unfold. For example, Sakurako and Takeru, two of Ayumu's childhood friends. Though they both have moments where they go out of their way to support Ayumu in his quest to beat Urushi, they're also another ship that gets its own cute development. Sakurako has always been quiet and shy, which is a big contrast compared to Takeru's more outgoing and boisterous personality in comparison, but he always tones it down around her and she in turn feels more comfortable around him than anyone else. Their story isn't the focus, but the scenes they do get developing their own relationship are just as wholesome as the main pairs, and seeing them get closer was satisfying. There's also Maki, Urushi's best friend who constantly teases her but means well, Rin, Ayumu and Takeru's kohai from the previous school who joins the cast halfway through the series, and a few others along the way. The characters and their dynamics were my favorite part of the series, and what made them even more impressive to me is that many of the voice actors for them are new to the industry, Kanahanazawa voicing Maki aside as she's a legend. Most impressive is Kana Nakamura as Arushi, who I thought had the best performance in the series considering this was actually her first ever role in an anime. The way she so expertly nailed Arushi's exasperated reactions as she once again falls to one of Ayumu's compliments made watching the show even more of a joy, and I'm excited to see what she does next. Yumiya and Mikawa both only debuted last year, and Takeru was only Godin's third role. But even despite the majority of the main cast being new, they brought all these characters to life more or less exactly how I expected them to sound as someone who's been reading the manga since long before the anime came out, and I was very pleased with their performances. Studio Silver Link handles the production, and with them at the helm, there's also nothing to worry about. While not the most technically impressive when it comes to visuals, they have a strong history of putting out fun series like Bofuri, My Next Life as a Villainous, The Misfit of Demon King Academy, and The Great Jahi, and now When Will Ayumu Make His Move can be added to their record. The characters are extremely expressive, which adds to the fun when watching them all interact and have fun together. I was also a big fan of the soft color palette, which felt relaxing and warm on screen and helped contribute to the general vibe of the show being one that was fun and cozy. The soundtrack and ED do the same though they did slightly change the art up for the bigger scenes which was a nice but welcome surprise. The OP on the other hand is a banger with Arushi and Ayumu dancing together to the chorus, and no matter how many times it happens, I never get sick of seeing characters dance in an OP or ED. I also thought it was a nice touch to include the manga covers rapidly flashing on screen in the build up to the chorus, as it was a fun nod to manga readers and indicated what volumes they were adapting in the anime. Finally, I thought it was cute how the OP and ED both ended with group photos of the main cast just living life and having fun. When it comes down to it, all of this is really just a long way of me saying that if you like rom-coms, then I think you should check out When Will Ayumu Make His Move. It doesn't have the wild popularity or crazy production that other romance series this year flaunt, and it certainly doesn't reinvent the wheel, but it is a cute show that's perfect for a rainy day. 
Led by a fun cast with some great ships and supportive side characters, it's a relaxing, wholesome, light-hearted series, and I guarantee you'll find yourself smiling as they develop and grow together. And that covers my thoughts, but as usual, I'm curious to hear what you thought. Have you seen the series? If so, what did you think? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, feel free to like and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at JDefenseAnime, if you want more frequent updates on what I'm watching. And as always, thanks for watching my video, and until next time.